What's up, guys? War here. Welcome back to the channel. So today, uh, this is day two of the PTR, and I kind of wanted to bring you a video talking about kind of the state of the game and just some of the systems and then just where we're at in particular. Um, so I made a video yesterday talking about my leveling experience 1 to 60, and that was that was fairly, like, fairly, like, easy. So, like, th this, like, little guide that I did in just leveling and following it was pretty easy. So if you guys check out that video... 1 to 60 felt really, really good. Again, it did, it felt probably a little bit faster um, than it did 1 to 100. But now now that we're in, like, Torment 3, I'm about to go into world, uh, Torment 4. Um, the difficulties here for Torment, I feel like it's very, very good. And keep in mind that once you get to Torment 1, everything is... Like, you can unlock everything, okay? Everything in the game gets unlocked. You start to get your negatives on your resistances and armor, which is very, very cool. I really do like that. It brings a, uh, another challenge. You can, guys can see some of my resistances and armor here. If I was to go back down another tier, then everything is capped in uh, Torment 2, which is very cool. Um, but so far, like, the Torments have not been hard, and I have okay gear right now. Like, okay gear. So... Um, even though we're kind of polishing up our builds, uh, it's, it's not too bad. I just got my very first glyph to legendary status for the increased non-physical damage at 46. Now this is actually pretty, pretty quick. This happens really, really fast leveling these up. Um, I do really enjoy that process in the pit. The pit is by far much better than it used to be. Um, the amount of items that you get at the end of a run are really good. Uh, the EXP that you get for, or not EXP, I gotta, I gotta change that. The EXP that you get, or not EXP, but the chances you get to level up a Paragon node are actually, this goes really fast. So Colin was downplaying it in the, the dev stream, but this goes pretty, pretty fast. So the pit itself is very, very fun, guys. It's definitely a much better rework, which is great. Um, Nightmare Dungeons are balanced pretty well the swap between these are fantastic if you come over here um you can go ahead and start crafting nightmare dungeon sigils because remember guys everything is based on the difficulty that you're playing in so there is no more difficulties one to 100 and all this other stuff it's literally just based on what level that you're playing in so the nightmare dungeons are actually fantastic the amount of kind of um materials that you get from it i mean maybe again guys it could just be the ptr but i did notice that we're only getting the obusite right now which can be earned from nightmare dungeons infernal hordes and the undercity we don't have access to the undercity um at all so this is going to be interesting to see how that falls from there but as far as the um nightmare dungeons it felt pretty good i'm curious to see what the changes are going to be to the infernal hordes as far as these but I noticed in the master working that like it's it's only obducite and the amount of resources have has actually changed. So we'll we'll talk about that. But Nightmare Dungeons felt really, really good, especially since you can access these right at level one. The only trick with these is, is that you do have to come over here to the Tree of Whispers. You need to do a turn in. Again, I stated this here where like you may have to do it more than once in order to get your first Nightmare Dungeon sigil. Um, but Nightmare Dungeons felt very, very good. So big kudos there. Um, even in these tiers, like Nightmare Dungeons are not hard at all. Um, they felt pretty balanced and pretty comfortable. Even in like World Tier 3 right now, or World Tier 3, Torment 3, we got to change our wordage here. But Nightmare Dungeons felt great. The pit feels amazing right now. Um, some of the other things that are, that are really cool is like how masterworking is. So master working uh, is a little bit different now when you get a brand new item. Um, even at like the max legendary power of like 750, um, you're only gonna be able to temper one thing on at a time. So you only can have four affixes at the most until you get to an ancestral item and then you can have two, uh, which is pretty cool. I do dig that, that's kind of nice. Um, it's definitely different. So now, like, when you go to Masterwork, everything is costing Obducite and then Iron and Veiled Crystals, which is the same. But now it's just Obducite. So I'm wondering if they're going away from just the three different kinds of crafting materials. And it's just going to be this and change how they do it. So uh, it seemed pretty cool in that aspect. Um, this is actually a bricked item. But uh, 
Yeah, so we'll have to see how that measures out. Also in the blacksmith, you have this forging. This is where you're going to forge your brand new um, ancestrals or mythic uniques. So keep that in mind. Um, masterworking itself, again, is that tempering is very, very cool. So it feels a little bit more balanced, a little bit easier. However, the only thing in the tempering that I guess is a little bit weird is like, look at all the, like we have so many. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop, drop my camera again. There's so many of um of these things so many i mean i do like that it's out of three now or sometimes four which is cool but gosh there's so many i mean it makes sense um but yeah i do wish that like i have the, the shadowing in dark that is the uh the sub one i wish this this was highlighted i wish this was highlighted so like while i'm continuing to <clears throat> to like roll this i could just redo it and it just automatically comes up like, hey, it's outlined in gold. Like, that's the one that you were using. You know what I mean? So you can find it quicker. But we'll see what happens with that. Um, next, one thing that I'm very, very excited about is the jeweler and the brand new Grand Jewels. Okay, this was awesome. Uh, I really do love this upgrade and change. I do like that it's not just rubies for HP anymore or life. They did change it to uh, strength, which is cool. So now you got all five here with your corresponding thing so you got strength you got uh barrier generation then of course you got dex then you got intelligence then you have willpowers and then uh diamonds is all stat and then skulls is healing um but more importantly the skulls give you a lot more armor uh and then the grands give you 12 percent all res instead of eight which is fantastic so i really do love this upgrade it's very very good it is 10 million gold to craft it which is kind of insane from the 1 million gold for the royal but all in all this isn't too bad at all i do really love this increase in the gems and that brings me over to our inventory slots which is great you have your equipment slots your socketable items which is great um this right as right as of right now this is just for jewels or like gems so i don't know if something else is going to be added here I guess the only other thing is going to be our uh, runes once we get them. So this is probably going to be filled with all of your rune words. So that'll be great. And then your consumables here, which will be your potions, your boss mats, and your incense, which is great. And then dungeon keys for all of your nightmare dungeons and your infernal hordes. I'm also assuming that the uh, key to the undercities are going to be in here as well as the raid stuff. So I'm guessing all that's going to go in here. Um, these PH ones, these are here because uh, they go to the brand new section and you do not have access to that right now. One other thing uh, to add to this is the world boss, at least in the PTR, is every single hour. The PTR uh, has given us a world boss every single hour. I really do love this change. I think that's great. I hope that it sticks and it's not just, hey, instead of every three hours, we did it every hour so you guys could test fighting world bosses in the new difficulty modes. So that way you don't have to wait because the PTR is only a week. So, But if they do change this to where it's a world boss every single hour, I do love that change. Because it's not going to change as far as your weekly spoils because you are going to get that. But like, so that you're not going to get that bonus spoils. That'll still be a weekly thing. But at least you'll be able to go fight the boss and get like some boss mats, some good materials, you know, some gear. And you can party up and just do this with your friends, which I think is great. Um, uh, let's see here. What else? What else really changed that's uh, great so far? So the pit is awesome right now. It feels great. Nightmare Dungeons feels great. The... Um, Master working and tempering stuff all feels good. The gem stuff feels awesome. Your inventory stash uh, feels great. Yeah, guys. So right now, the the like state of the PTR feels pretty good. Now I will add on uh, to this that you know I'm a bit of a blaster. I'm not as hardcore as some of the other guys, but I am a bit of a blaster, and I have thoroughly enjoyed the process of not only leveling but all of these different systems so far. And again, we haven't even gotten. The Undercity, we haven't gotten our Rune Words. We haven't gotten, uh, you know, our Mercenaries. We haven't gotten the Rage yet. Of course, we still don't have Spiritborn, you know. So there's still a lot of things, and we still don't have Rune Words yet either. So there's still a lot of things to come. And I can tell you right now, even in my current state, like I destroyed Torment 3. And going into Torment 4 is, is, is going to be awesome. I'm just about there, which is really fun. So I do really love the Resistances. Um... We're going to talk about Paragon in another video because I think that that deserves a full video because that is frustrating. 
Um, but I will say though that like this difficulty tiers are it's not bad, man. For your casual, you're gonna be in like torment one, maybe uh penitent. But for the blasters, we're gonna absolutely destroy this once we get like all of our glyphs leveled up. We get uh you know our rune words and then we get all of our gear because not everything is ancestral so i do really like that you know there's not a lot of drops of ancestral items and then when they drop you get guaranteed gas which is great like this ring just dropped for me and it's awesome so i really do love the gear grind in that s accent or that that essence there so it's really cool um but overall man this experience this has been great so i hope that they uh they keep a lot of this stuff and maybe make some small changes to things but overall, this feels awesome. Uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, we'll talk about bosses once we get up here. I did fight some of the other bosses here in Torment 2 and Torment 3. I will tell you that the bosses going from Torment 2 to 3, including Lilith, is significantly harder. Um, we can still do it in Torment 3 at my current state, but uh, significantly harder. And then Torment 4 is insane. So I have some community members that have been doing it in Torment 4, and they say it's, it's absolutely busted. So I think once we start getting everything, all of our stuff leveled and then master worked and then all of our, our glyphs and our uh, rune words, it's going to change and we're going to absolutely destroy. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Like the video. Let's get this to 100 likes. Let's get this pushed out there. It really does help the channel. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of your experience uh, inside of the PTR and what changes you would want uh, to relay to the devs. Uh, to make some good changes here to prep for Season 6. Don't forget to sub if you're new, and as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.